I grew up in Puerto Rico. And I grew up in an area of Puerto Rico which is famous for three things. Music, coffee, and roast pork. Incidentally, Puerto Rico in general is famous for music, coffee, and roast pork. However, Puerto Ricans uh, as musicians are known very definitively in the planet as being very, very rhythmic. So, henceforth, this is why I take my linguistic approach with rhythm. To me, rhythm is a language the heartbeat of a rhythm is a beat and you want to feel it like a beat. So even just a simple beat is not just something mechanical. It's like a heartbeat and a heartbeat actually pulses. It just doesn't go doom, doom, doom. It's doom, 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 doom. A real beat in life, in your body is a pulse. So when you're even feeling this pulse, doom, 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 you want to feel it as a pulse. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Four. See me bouncing. One and two and one, two, one and two and one. Okay, I just introduced another rhythm to the pulse. So I am being and feeling that pulse initially. And that's what everybody needs to do with rhythm that's music. Um, the, I'm sorry, music that has rhythm in it. So you want to feel the pulse as a central and core part of your music. So you want to feel it, you want to be it, don't worry about how stupid you look, Put, make it come out of your heart, out of your body. That is really core, something I learned from growing up. So here we start. Okay, here's my secondary rhythm. So you hear how that counters, that's called tension in music, how that counters that. Now I'm gonna introduce a rhythm. Here's with a beat. Here's with Okay, you can say you're doing three different things, but the trick to it is hearing it as one syncopated rhythm. So I'm not gonna play be able to play a guitar and do this, but try and hear this in your head. I'll slow it down a little bit. So hear it again at pace that we've been doing it. Okay. Da, da, da. Just simple open chords. E minor, D over F sharp, G, C. Anyway, I have the capo in the second position. I'm just referring to them as positional, not actual true keys. I just wanted to change up the tone of the guitar a little bit. Let's try that again. You'll notice you can even hear me doing the beat. That's how much I feel it. Not everybody has to do it this intensely, but that's really where it's coming from is that pulse. And I'm not just feeling it one, two, one, and two, and three, and four, and three. And here's the thing, it's like having a conversation with somebody where somebody can just be talking to you and using a lot of words because they're hearing themselves think and they're just playing out their mind in words or they're really talking to you from their heart like I did when I spoke about Benny King. I just was belaboring over that and I couldn't stop thinking that I'm going to get too emotional. But you know, who cares? I'm talking from my heart, so it doesn't matter. So if you play that way and you play rhythmically and it really comes from your heart and you really feel it, everybody else will feel it as well. That's the secret of all of this. That's why we like people or musicians who are very honest and emote very clearly and honestly, because you hear the genuineness in it. So you should be that way with everything you do in your musical life, starting with that pulse. That should be very natural to you. So the way to do this, it sounds crazy, you can do this all day long. You can sit in your car, listen to your headphones at home, find a beat in the music and just move with it. It connects you to the music. And when you start doing that, 
It'll connect you to your own music and you won't think about the beat as a mechanical element of your song. It'll just be something really natural. Again. <laughs> See, you can feel the pulse in that because I'm feeling the pulse in that. All right, guys, I hope that inspires you. Let me know what you think. Bye.